So here we are starting part three of the Beehive installation of the uh, app on the phone. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is um, go to the Play Store. And in the Play Store, search for Beehive Orbit. And here you will see the Beehive app. Go ahead and install it. So once installed, open up the app. And the first thing it, you have to do is create an account. So let's go ahead and create the account. So it asks for you to um, confirm if you would like to be notified of rain delays and water events on Beehive Timer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And this is a new device. And I'm going to choose what type of uh, timer that I have. It is the indoor timer. And the first thing it is asking is to power on the device. So here, I'm going to go ahead and power on the device. And I'm going to say um, it is powering on. So once the device is uh, powered on, on your beehive itself, you will see uh, the beehive pink blinking with a P on it on the top left. So here it found um, a device. And I'm, I'm going to say this is my, this is a match. And now that it is connected, it is saying that it needs to connect to the home network. So the first thing from the drop down, I'm going to go ahead and select my home network and enter the password. So once it's connected, you will come to this page where it'll say your device is set to off. So the first thing I'm going to try is water manually or I am going to into zones. Here I haven't set up the uh, zones yet. So I'm going to go back to the home page and do a water manually. In order to create a program, you will need to configure at least one zone. This can be done in the zone screen, zones. So here I have three zones. So I'm going to go ahead and do the first one. Cancel. So this is the first zone. Smart watering is off. I'm going to go ahead and do a test. for five minutes. And it worked. The water has come out. Uh, it is the front of the house. So I'm going to name it So I'm good with that. Now I'm going to turn on smart watering. Not sure what that is. And I'm going to go ahead and stop. So zone one is set. So I'm going to go ahead and do zone two. And I'm going to go ahead and hit test and see if it works.
so sewn to works and it is the side of the house I'm going to go ahead and turn on smart watering and for now I'm going to go ahead and stop and do the last zone which is zone 3 and zone 3 also works which is the back of the house So now that my, all of my zones are set, I can uh, go ahead and start the programs and set by calendars. So uh, it is very simple. It is connected to the weather here. And I have the um, control via Bluetooth, update Wi-Fi settings, and calendar here. And tells me uh, when it will rain so that's good and I can um, set um, the programs to run in my beehive I can create go into my account settings see the devices watering history notifications and so on So if I wanted to start programming, I could hit the different uh, zones that I have and start. Um, actually, these are different programs. So I have um, four different programs that I could go ahead and set. So on the first program, I can put this uh, program name. I can add my zones, the days and when to order.